If you love fish, then you absolutely have to try this recipe. Today we're making juicy grilled fish served with yam and a banging pepper sauce. I'm going to start by preparing the pepper mix and for this I'm using some onions, red bell peppers, a little scotch bonnet peppers. I'm using just two but you can add as many as you like depending on how spicy you like your dish to be. I also added a few cloves of garlic and a little ginger. I'm going to give this a rough blend and I'm using my ninja chopper to do this. I'll set this aside. Next, I'll get my skillet and heat up a little oil. I'll let this heat up for a few minutes and then I'm going to add the pepper mix. I'll give this a good mix and I'm just going to let this fry for some minutes. I'm going to season this with some salt and some crushed chicken seasoning cubes. I like to keep my seasoning pretty simple, especially when making fish because sometimes too many different seasoning can overpower the taste. So I let the sauce fry for a few minutes. I don't want it to dry. You'll know the sauce is ready when the oil starts to float to the top. I'll take that off heat and set aside. Next, I'll begin prepping my fish. For this recipe, I'm using tilapia, but you can use any fish you prefer. Croaker, snapper, catfish and mackerel are great options you can use to replace the tilapia. So when I got this fish, it was already gutted and scaled. So I'm just taking the extra fins off using a kitchen shear. You can also do it with a knife, but the kitchen shears just work better. The next thing I'm going to do is just pat dry the fish with a kitchen towel just to get rid of the excess water. Next, I'm going to cut lines on both sides of the fish so the seasoning can really get into it. Next, I'll transfer the fish to a baking tray lined with parchment paper or aluminium foil. I've separated the pepper sauce I made earlier into two parts. The first part I'm going to use to season the fish and the second part I'm going to use it for the final dish to serve. It's important to separate the sauce before handling the fish just so you don't mistakenly touch the fish and the sauce with the same spoon as that can cause cross-contamination. I'm going to coat the fish generously in the pepper sauce. I always make sure to put some of the pepper sauce in between the lines I cut earlier and also on the inside. Next, I'm going to add a good amount of salt on both sides of the fish. I usually add this before adding the pepper mix but I forgot so I'm adding it now. The last thing I like to add is some lemon juice. The lemon juice gives the fish a really bright and zesty flavor. I'm going to wrap this before transferring it to the oven. The oven has already been preheated to 430 degrees Fahrenheit which is also about 220 degrees Celsius. I'll bake this covered for about 15 minutes. While it's baking, I'll get started with the side, which is fried yam. I'll cut and peel the yam and then I'm going to cut it into smaller pieces or cubes. I'll rinse the yam cubes, drain and then I'm going to season with a little salt. Mix very well so the salt is evenly distributed and then I'm going to fry this on low medium heat. Immediately after adding the yam to the oil, the oil temperature is going to calm down a bit. At that point I like to add a bit of water to the oil. This process makes the fried yam taste way better so it's soft on the inside and crunchy on the outside. It's kind of like boiling and frying your yam at the same time. 
I fry the yam for about 8 minutes or so before taking it out. Next, I'm going to fry some cubed ripe plantains. I'll go ahead and check on the fish. It's been about 15 minutes, so the fish is almost ready. I'll unwrap this before transferring it back to the oven for an extra 5 minutes or so, just so we can get a crispy skin. If your oven has a grill or broil setting, that would be perfect for this. When the fish is ready, serve with the fried yam, the remaining pepper sauce and enjoy. Let me know if you'd love to try this. If you have any questions about this recipe, feel free to leave me a comment or send me a DM on Instagram. My Instagram name is Kiki Foodies. Thanks everyone for watching and I'll see you in the next one.